Okay, so here's the Ginu. This is a 15.4 high cider. Got some decking in there, some rod holders, okay. You got your dry well, live well, whatever you want to make it. A little strap. Opens up. Nice storage for a small, you know, Ginu like this. Gets the job done, keeps it dry. I did drill a little hole down here so that if there was water to get in there, it will drain out the back and, and along the, the waterway to the back of the boat. Okay, you can put a bilge in here. Don't have a pretty simple setup right now. Takes up to a 10 horsepower motor. Right now it's got a 30 pound Minn Kota trolling motor on it. Um, and the current setup I have has a Yeti cooler to sit on. Uh, you can also sit on the back bench seat. I prefer coolers, you're a little higher, um, especially if the tiller is higher. Um, it makes for a better seating position. Um, you can straddle it, you can sit forward, okay. Great overall boat, okay. Um, the middle seat does not go all the way through. There are holes on the on the sides, you know, we can call them gunnels, not really gunnels there. Um, so you can put rods through there if you like. Um, that way they're staying nice and secure. Maybe put some straps in. Uh, maybe I'll be adding to it in the future. Right now, no sea deck up front. Might put it up there. Um, depends who's buying this boat. Okay, I can still customize this a lot more. But this is this is really how it's going to come standard um, for, for all my Ginyu builds um, in the future. Okay, I re resurrected this from the, from the dead a little bit. It was super dirty. Scratches everywhere, okay. As you can see, here's the, the right side of the Ginyu. Okay, here's their logo, Tidysville, Florida, okay, going all the way up to the bow. Nice little grab here, so if you need to pull this, they're not super heavy, okay. Does, does probably need two people um, if you're going to be carrying this, otherwise I suggest getting some wheels that you can strap on the back and roll it. You can go with a trailer, um, this will also fit in the back of a pickup truck with a bed extender, okay. Um, some things, you know, you know, I may plan to do this if, if no one is going to buy it as is. Okay, I may improve it even more and, and go ahead and um, put a on-the-fly jack plate, which I've done for other boats in the past, um, back here on the transom, just so that if, if whoever's using this does have a outboard motor and is going to the flats or the shallows, they can raise it up and not worry about dragging uh, the skag or anything like that, okay? Obviously, trolling motors are simple to do. You can just raise them and lower them. Uh, but for outboard, it's much heavier. Uh, it'd be nice to have something like an on-the-fly jack plate uh, to install there for uh, maneuverability and uh, improved performance. So um, reach out, give me a like, subscribe. If you have any questions, uh, you can reach out to me directly, store um, on Instagram. And uh, I'll be waiting to hear from you guys. Thanks a lot. Bye.